Miss Popular Vote goes to Miss Grand Carino and Margaret Mercado. for you. Hope you're feeling okay tonight. So your journey from competing in barangay pageants to reaching the national stage has been very inspiring to many of us. What do you think sets you apart now that you're here on the national stage? I believe what sets me uh, aside now that I am here in the national stage is my determination to, even though I am a new here, I have this courage the determination to represent not only my province, but hopefully our country. Thank you. Courage and determination. Thank you, Ms. Carino. And we're now going to proceed to announce who our, is our second yes, top yes, yes. ten. Yes, So that is our first contestant into our top ten. To other moms that want to pursue their dreams and are inspired by you. Well, as a mom, and at 38 years old, it's never impossible to dream big. I mean, I wasn't as thin as I am right now, but with determination, hard work, and with the proper core group, you can always be the person you want to be. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Works out with weights in the morning and jogs an hour at night. You That's can tell, yes. All right, let's move on to our third. In the top ten, put your hands Miss Grant Pangasinan, here's a question for you. Your advocacy hashtag I matter is incredibly powerful, especially considering your personal experience with bullying. What message would you want to give to those who may be facing similar challenges? My message is to be brave and courageous. In life, it's a story of resiliency, it's a story of strength, but you must never give up because there is a place for you waiting in this earth, a space for you when God has a purpose while you're here. So stand up, be strong, you have hope, and there is a bright future waiting for you. Beautifully said, let's give a big hand. This is the ano, casual interview. Pala. Casual. She's ready. All right, let's go to our fourth. Also making it to the top 10 of Miss Grand Philippines 2024, Sinasha, Miss Grand Pom Pom. Congratulations, Miss Grand Pom Pom, Sophia Bianca Santos. Congratulations, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Top 10 special awards. You must be feeling pretty good. Yes, I feel so grateful. Also, my supporters, the Kapong Pans, always grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have a, a quick question for you. Um, you're, uh, you've learned, you've earned the title of Palenque Queen, which is such a unique and inspiring uh, role. Can you share with us what that title means to you and how it has shaped your journey in this competition? Growing up is not easy for me, like the other kids of my age. And by just joining Beauty Pageant, I would like to inspire other people and to be a lead by example. As a Palenque queen, it's not only a Palenque queen, it's also a beauty queen. Thank you. Well done. Well Thank you, Miss Pampanga. Good luck. All right, pretty good answers from everyone. All right, let's go over here. Okay, and... The next candidate to take on this spot here is Miss Grant. Miss Grant Manila, Jamaica Costa. Congratulations, Miss Grant Manila. Thank you so much. I really want to thank 
my couple Madalenas. Oh, Welcome, Madalenas. Okay, we talked before in the press conference, so you're a doctor and a psychometrician, and also a social media content creator. You have a very impressive mix. You said you can wear many hats, right? How do you use your expertise in both medicine and mental health to make a positive impact through your social media content? Actually, we all need a bicycle approach when it comes to health. Health doesn't mean only physical, it is combined with mental. So when we think about it, we need to have holistic care, and that is my cause, is to have holistic access to quality health care here in the Philippines, and I'm doing my best to reach that point where in the Philippines will not be lonely because we have peace in ourselves and our body is also excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Grand Manila. Also making it to the top 10. Let us make some noise for Miss Grand Zambara. Congratulations. Welcome to the top ten. Okay. I'm really glad to be here. Are you glad to be here? I, I'm, I'm super oh. glad to be here. And I'm glad you're here as well. I think everyone of us. Okay, here is a question. Coming from a humble background and being one of the youngest in the competition, you've shown incredible strength and determination. As an advocate for education, what lessons from your own journey would you like to share with young people who face similar challenges? Well, as a woman who grew up in a poor and broken family, my advice to those, especially to the younger generation who, who is experiencing the same, is to just trust yourself. Trust your heart, trust that someday it will lead you to a greater cause. Because once you believe in yourself, everything will follow. Just go with the path and just chase your dreams and be out there. Be courageous, be determined, and be strong. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Thank you. All right, we've got a couple left, but it is time for us to call on our next candidate making it into the top 10. Our next candidate to make it to the top 10 is Miss Grant! Give up my last city, Negros Occidental! Hi, congratulations! Welcome congratulations. to the top 10. Welcome Thanks to the top so 10. Much. All right, so I think Dan has a special little question. Well, for you. you are a licensed free diver. Wow, yeah. how long have you been a licensed free diver? I actually, I am not yet a licensed free diver, but I love to free dive. So, since you love the marine life, how will you share your passion and how do, these, how do your views on marine conservation affect your message for others about protecting our underwater world? Well, as you all know, I am an adrenaline junkie and I enjoy a lot um, of outdoor activities and I am passionate about uh, free diving and I will use this platform to promote um, to promote the, I'm sorry. I will use this platform to promote the cleanliness of our environment, especially to our marine life. We all know that um, a lot of our um, marine life is suffering about the uh, pollution that our that the world is doing and it is important for us to take care of our earth because we are living in it and I thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Keep free diving. diving. Keep diving. I want to learn free diving. It's Just... easy. It's free. Oh, you're right. It's free. <laughs> no need to pay for a license. Okay, so let's go on to our next candidate making it into the top 10. A round of applause for Miss Grand Laguna! Alexandra May Rosales! Hello! Welcome to the top 10. How are you? I'm good. We love your gown. You're pretty cool. 
like yeah. a gown, it's like a leaf. Oh, yeah. It's a gown. <laughs> All right, Miss uh, Miss Grand Laguna, you wear many hats as a professor at De La Salle College of St. Benil. It's interesting. <laughs> You're an entrepreneur and a professional working with a U.S. company. So how do you balance these diverse roles and what drives you to excel in each of them? Well, my inspiration is always working hard, uh, for working hard is my dad. My dad is a high school graduate and he is now very successful working in a cruise ship. And I have been very inspired by it and that I promise myself that I'll do my best, do everything I can to be a successful woman for him and also my mom, of course. But um, we, I want to prove that to and be an inspiration to all women out there that we can reach all our dreams if we just do our best and believe in ourselves that we are not just women we are women thank you thank you and you're already so nice. I love that hi mom and dad yeah we're small are they here thank you so much Ms. already an inspiration standing on this stage and now it's time for us to get to our second to the last two more two that's more. here we go okay Congratulations, welcome to the top 10. Congratulations, Ms. Grand Cavite. So as Ms. ROTC and an aspiring pilot, you embody leadership and ambition. What inspired you to pursue a career in aviation and how do you think your experience in ROTC will help you achieve your goals in this field? Well, as a reservist of Philippine uh, Air Force, uh, it made me realize that ROTC is something, that activity that will teach you a lesson, that will make you dis a disciplined person and also a well-trained person and also you can help the Philippines to be one of those uh, good denizens to also help others. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. One more. Who's going to make it to the top ten? Sina Sha. The final candidate to make it into our top 10 is none other than... Miss Grand Castillo! Congratulations, welcome to the top 10. Already has so many awards tonight. How are you? I was holding my breath for this last time. Uh, you can breathe now, breathe. Yeah. How are you, CJ? Yeah, you can breathe now. This is our question, casual question. Uh, with your experience as a model, host, dancer, pasarela trainer, and pageant veteran, you've won many different crowns. How has each role shaped you into the person that we see today? And what keeps you coming back to the world of pageantry? I would say that I am a multifaceted woman and for the very purpose that I am doing this for my family. As a breadwinner, a passerella coach, and all those hats that I wear, what keeps me determined is, of course, my very heart goes to my family and the people who is behind me and supporting me all throughout my journey. I wouldn't be able to be standing here today without all of you. So I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you that I am very much grateful to have your hands and your ears and help me to get through life. Thank you so much and I hope this story of mine would be an inspiration to everyone who's listening to me right now. Thank you, congratulations thank you, and, and hi to your family, Chiguro. Okay, you know what? I want everybody to give a huge round of applause to all of our
rockets, bombs, missiles, the noises of war, and the cry of the mass. In a day that seems normal for some, it's a day lived in fear for others. Constant oppression and an ending vengeance become a series of how it is to be a human for a few in exchange for the lives taken away from civilians. This is an emotionally exhausting reality of today. A history unfolding right our very eyes. Our country may not be suffering from this atrocity, but we are all connected as humans. Through our echoed voices, I call the attention of your existence to never resort in violence nor put blood in your hands. Refuse to be an instrument of war. Rather, be a bastion of peace and justice. We all live in the same space. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Grant Castillejos Zambales. And now, let's hear from Ms. Grant Cavite. Violence and war have been immense a lot of pain in our human history. It breaks heart, soul, mind, and nation. And it also leaves an unending scar to our future generation. I believe that the real strength cannot be found in violence, but it can be found in the reality that we can fix every critical things peacefully. And with that kind of platform, if we could be united to promote this kind of platform, we could build a world wherein we could live in harmony. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Grant Cavite. Now, let's hear from Ms. Grant, Himamailan City, Negros Occidental. Katotohanan, kalayaan, katarungan, ay kayang makamit na walang tahas, basta't magkaisa tayong lahat. Sino nga ba ang hindi nakakaalam sa pinakaunang mapayapa at walang bahin na dahas na pamamaraan ng pagkamit ng kalayaan ng kapwa natin Pilipino noong 1986 People Power Revolution? This is a testament that through a collective and collaborative effort, we can achieve a common goal in a manner that no one could have ever imagined. However, everywhere, violence and conflict continue to be the alarm clock of our fellow Filipinos. How can we achieve peace as a nation when the very foundation of it, such as respect, understanding, and love is luxury? As a product of a broken family, I know that peace, even within the family, is so hard to achieve. But one thing the people power has taught me is that ating kalayaan, kay tagal na nating miti, di na papayagam, mabawi muli. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Ms. Grant, Himamaylan City, Negros Occidental. Now, let's hear from Ms. Grant, Laguna. Imagine life in the world where laughter replaces gunfire, where children can run and play with no fear. War takes lives and also dreams and replace it with long-lasting scars. But we people can change it by choosing compassion over conflict, choosing kindness over hatred. We can make peace, and together we can end war. But the change should start now. Kapayapaan para sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Ms. Grant Laguna. Now let's hear from Ms. Grant Manila. Our body is our temple and health is truly one's wealth. This is a reality that not every one of us has had the privilege of. But as a third generation medical doctor in the family who also happens to be a licensed psychometrician, I have recognized 
the wars are not only seen in battlefields, but they are also seen in hospitals as well. And because of this, I fight for health and wage war against illnesses. That is why, let us put into action this very aspiration to be a grand source of change for our beloved nation. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grand Manila. Now let's hear from Miss Grand Pampanga. As I stand here, I am known to some as the Palenque Queen with a radiant smile. But behind this smile are scars. Scars from bullying, bashing, and hate speech. I am being judged for simply being myself and for daring to shine on my own life. This pain has taught me that hate does not just hurt, it divides and destroys. Every hateful word fuels conflicts and makes us forget our shared humanity. Yet, I learned that hurt loses its power when we choose love, compassion, and understanding. This choice illuminates a way toward peace and prevents the roots of war and violence from growing. Together, let us all embrace love and make this world the grandest stage for all. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grand Pampanga. And now let's hear from Miss Grand Pangasinan. Peace is what we need today. In a world where so much commotions is happening, in a world where violence is staying amongst our people, where wars from within are starting to fire up and build up ourselves. We have to do something about it. It's time for it to stop. To stop hurting ourselves, to stop hurting others. And it's time to show kindness, understanding, and compassion. In this life, we only have one world, one life, one earth, one home. Let us take care of one another. And we have a reason to be here. And the key to peace is to start winning the battle from within. And that is through love. You matter, we matter. Hashtag I matter. Thank you, Miss Grand Pongasina. And now let's hear from Miss Grand Classic City. Good evening everyone. I stand here not just as a contestant but as a mom of two and a woman representing women of age. Peace and unity starts in our own home. This is where the children feed more information about the entire world. So if we have this positive an engaging environment at home, then I'm sure the kids would grow up in a world with so much love, peace, and unity. And that is the world that we want to spread to everyone so that we have a bigger goal and a bigger world for them to grow on and live in. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grab, Pasig City. Now let's hear from Miss Grab, Province of Quirino. I am for stopping the war and violence. Each of us faces different battles in life, struggles that are often invisible and visible to those around us. Yet, the path to true peace and harmony begins within. It starts when we choose to nurture inner peace, allowing it to guide our actions. By setting aside our differences and embracing, respecting our own unique beliefs, we can create a world where connection, not division, defines us. 
let us embrace the power of our shared humanity and with good intention take meaningful steps to sustain peace both within ourselves and in the world around us. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grant, province of Quirino. Now let's hear from Miss Grant Zavales. We often hear them say, this is a such a scary world to live in. In a society torn by war and violence, it is our human right to grow up in an environment where peace, love, and hope is existing. Ending wars does not only mean about silencing guns. I'd like to see that it's about giving tools to children to build their bright future. When we invest on schools, not bombs, we are giving them hope. Hope to turn their dreams into reality and to create a world where conflict are fixed by effective communication, not by wars. I stand here in front of all of you today aiming to change the narrative. Together, we can make this world a better place just by being, helping hand in hand. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Grant Zambales. And thank you to our top 10 candidates for your insights on peace, love, and unity.